Now let us work on the second warning. The second warning is to activate MFA on your root account. So by default, whenever we log in, it is only asking for username and password. It is not asking for anything else. So here I signed out and I'm trying to sign in again. It will ask for the email ID and password and that's it. You will be able to log into the root account. But root account is very, very important. And if some, someone get hold of your username and password somehow, then you are doomed. They might be able to utilize the resources at your cost. Hence, it is very important to make it as secure as possible. One of the approach to elevate the security of root account is by creating uh, MFA. MFA stands for multi-factor authentication. So instead of just using username and password, we can also uh, uh, add additional layer where a security key which will be refreshing very frequently has to be entered to log in. So here I'm going to my security credentials again and getting into the dashboard and you can see this warning and expand this and click on manage MFA. MFA stands for multi-factor authentication. Either you can use your smartphone or laptop or uh, any other thing as your virtual MFA device or you can use hardware devices also. That being said, once you click on next step, it will ask you to make sure you install an AWS MFA compatible application on a smartphone, PC or any other device which you want to use as much virtual MFA and then you have to click on next step. In this case, I have something called Google Authenticator. So this is how it will look like and it is on my phone and I'll be using this to, um, uh, to access my root account going forward as a MFA device. As I already have Google Authenticator, now I'm clicking on next step. It gave me a barcode. I have to scan this barcode. So I'm opening the Google Authenticator on my, uh, on my phone. And then I'm trying to add a new device. There will be plus sign on the authenticator at the top, which will facilitate you to add a new device. Once the new device is added, it will give a six digit code. And you have to enter the first one you see. And then you have to wait until it is refreshed and a new one is generated. So it will just take a moment for me to get the new one. And then I can enter the new six digit barcode as well. Once we enter both the barcodes, we can click on activate virtual MFA and uh, your uh, virtual device and your AWS account will be tagged. So I got the new one as well. So I'm entering that here and then clicking on activate account and then finish. Now if you refresh, even this one will turn green. And if you sign out, and then sign into the console. After clicking on sign in, it will also ask you to enter multi-factor authentication code. Here I am entering that. And now only I will be able to access my root account. So it is very, very important to have MFA for your root account so that no one can hack and uh, exploit uh, your account and provision the resources on your behalf which can cost you uh, dear. Now you can see both these warnings are turned into green. We have to explore how to make the others also green and we will do it as we understand more and more concepts of security and IAM on AWS.